Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So this past weekend we had the Terence Crawford vs Israel Madrimov card. A card that was pretty interesting overall, and in my opinion pretty enjoyable. But I would say, arguably, Martin Bacole stole the show by knocking out prominent heavyweight prospect Jared Anderson. You know, Jared Anderson for the last couple of years or so has been kind of anointed, well, he was anointed as America's heavyweight hope. And this weekend that went up in smoke, so to speak. But it got me thinking, what is next for Martin Bacole? You know, he's announced himself to a whole new audience. A lot of the boxing fans in the States weren't really aware of him. Now they are. Um... He made a good impression uh, with Turkey Alasheikh, who is obviously bankrolling a lot of big cards right now. And yeah, I think Bacoli right now is in a really good spot. And I think there are several fights out there for him that are very intriguing and fun. The good thing about a guy like Bacoli is he's got a fun style anyway, so there's going to be certain matchups that are pretty much guaranteed excitement. So yeah, I just wanted to go through some of the options or potential fights that I'd like to see. I think the first fight that, to me, jumps right out at me would be a fight with Ajit Kabayel. They are both in a somewhat similar position. Both guys have been underrated for a few years. Uh, they've recently broken out to a more mainstream audience, uh, you know, performing on big cards. But at the same time, they are still not the biggest of names and they are viewed as maybe high risk, low reward right now. But, you know, with the backing of Turkey Alasheikh, I do think fighters like Bacole and Ajit Kabayel stand a better chance of getting certain fights. Having said that, if they can't, why not fight each other? When you look at those two guys stylistically, I can't see that being anything other than a fun fight. We know... Bacole is very heavy-handed, a guy who likes to throw in combination, very fluid, powerful, strong guy. Defensively, not the greatest. He does get hit. He's going to give you opportunities to land, but he's going to come and bring it. You know, he's going to try and impose himself and really drag you into a dogfight. I mean, that's what we saw with Jared Anderson. Caballel, um, I would say he is more fundamentally sound than... Uh, Martin Bacole, certainly in regards to defense, stance, footwork, things like that. Uh, he's more compact. But in recent in recent fights, Caballel has also adopted a much more aggressive approach. If you actually watch a lot of Caballel's earlier fights, he would box a lot more. But recently, he's turned into a bit of a volume puncher who likes to march forwards behind that tight guard, jabbing his way in, working the body, and really trying to set a high pace. He's not as physically powerful as a guy like Bacole, nor as heavy-handed. Um, so yeah, Bacole would have that advantage going into that fight. But on the flip side, I would say Caballel is technically more advanced. And if you put these two guys together, I can't see this being any other than a really fun fight. I know Caballel fought Frank Sanchez in some kind of eliminator. Why not make that fight an eliminator? Bacole versus Caballel. Put it on a Saudi card. Pay these guys, I'm sure they'll take that fight. For me, that fight would be very good. Very, very good. Um, but there are other fights out there for Martin Bacole. For example, Dillian White. Dillian White's been out in the wilderness for quite some time now, following that drug ban. Uh, I know he was found innocent recently, but he still kind of struggled to get, to get big fights. He's had one fight in Ireland against Christian Hammer, where he won. Since then, he's been begging around for fights. Why not Turkey Alasheikh give Dillian White a call? Dillian White, for better or worse, is still a big name in the heavyweight division. Those two guys actually have previous uh, from when Alan Babich fought in Poland. Uh, Bacole was on the undercard and Dillian White and Bacole got into it backstage. So, listen, Bacole versus Dillian White. It's a fight in which I would make, if I was bankrolling this, if I was Turkey I that may be the fight I would actually chase because Dillian has a name. He's becoming more and more faded, in my opinion. His punch resistance is going down. I think it's a fight in which many would make Bacole the favourite. 
And yeah, should Picole beat a guy like Dillian White, that's only going to be good for his profile. And it is a winnable fight now. Dillian still has power with that left hook. And Martin does have a leaky defense. So it will be a fun fight again, much like the Cabriel fight. It'll be a very fun fight. Um, but in terms of profile building, uh, this fight does make sense for Bacole, in my opinion. Dillian White. Dillian White wants to get back in the picture. He's not getting the phone calls right now. Why not try and tempt him with this fight? And again, from a fan perspective, it will be a fun fight. It will be a fun fight. So Dillian White is another option I wouldn't mind seeing Martin Bacole in there with. I was going to mention Jarrell Miller, but Jarrell Miller, obviously he fought Andy Ruiz recently. I felt he beat Ruiz, to be honest. Um, I think his stock has risen after that performance. But Miller himself poured cold water on the Bacole fight. He was saying post-fight, he doesn't want to fight guys that he likes anymore because according to him, it's hard to get up for those fights and put himself in that mindset. It is kind of convenient that Jerome Miller has just revealed this sort of close relationship between him and uh, him and Bacole. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting, kind of kind of convenient, I would say. I'd like to hear Bacole's thoughts on it. I'm sure he'd take the fight. But again, if you're Turkey Ala Sheikh, why not try and make that fight? Miller still has a name. Uh, he's coming off a good performance. Why not try and rock the boat? Why not try and try and make the fight? You know, I'm sure if you pay Miller enough, despite what he says, he'll probably take it. And again, it will be a good fight stylistically. Much like the Dillian White fight, it will be a fun build-up. So why not? Bacole versus Jarrell Miller. Lastly, I guess the name I would throw in there as well. Another guy who's been fighting on these Saudi cards, or cards backed by Turkey Ala Sheikh, would be Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker very highly ranked. I believe he's the WBO interim champion. Again, that's another fight maybe you could make as some sort of eliminator. Martin Bacole versus Joseph Parker. That would be a very good fight for, for brawler slash puncher slash pressure guy in Bacole versus the more pure boxer in Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker has shown a willingness throughout his career to take hard fights against tough opponents and if you, if you pay this guy enough, will he take the Bacole fight? Will he risk his ranking? Let's find out. Send the money, send the offer. See what he says. That's another very good fight. But these are the sort of fights I want to see Bacole in. You know, since that Michael Hunter loss back in, what was it, 2018, 2019? He's been making the comeback trail. He's knocked out who he's supposed to knock out. Uh, he's now building a name. He now beat a prospect in Anderson, a hot prospect in Anderson, I think it's now time for the step up. I think it's now time to try and secure one of these type of opponents. And all the opponents I mentioned, I'd be happy with. Because ultimately, when you look at a guy like Bacole, the only way he'd ever get a title shot would be to become a mandatory. Whether he's good enough to do that or not remains to be seen. I think he's a dangerous fighter in the heavyweight division. And one thing I will say, one thing I can guarantee, he's an entertaining fighter. So win, lose or draw... There are so many fights you could put this guy in. And uh, these are just some of the fights that come off the top of my head. That I guess are somewhat realistic, you know? I mean, as for an unrealistic fight, I'd love to see Bacole fight um, Bakadir Jalalov when he returns from the Olympics. But that's unrealistic, I'd say. But yeah, there are options out there. Um, I want to see him in these sort of fights. And again, win, lose or draw. I think we as boxing fans are guaranteed entertainment. So... Hopefully Turkey Ala Sheikh keep, uh, keeps this guy on the Saudi-backed cards. And we'll see where he goes, really. That's it. That's it. But I think I think fighters like Bacole should be pushed um, to a degree because they're the guys, they're the type of fighters who are bringing entertainment. You know, I've been watching this guy for a long time and I've never seen a boring Bacole fight. Never seen one. You know, if he's fighting an overmatched guy, he'll knock him out. Um... And yeah, I've never seen this guy in a boring fight, so I think it's time for him to get a bit of back in. And hopefully one of these sort of fights happens. Um, anyway, share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Delboy. Peace.